So let's talk about that little miracle of sil silicon called the central processing unit. And we're going to focus on the registers of the central processing unit. Registers are very small bits of memory, which are extremely fast. We call them primary memory um, because they can be accessed by the CPU. So let's have a look inside the CPU. I like to think of the CPU as kind of a big box which has got pieces within it. And two of those large pieces that you need to know about are the arithmetic logic unit and the control unit. So I'm gonna put them right in the middle because they're really important. So the arithmetic logic unit does all the maths and any sort of logic that might need to happen. So any decisions that need to be made around and or or not. And then the control unit, which I'm going to brief to see you, is kind of like the boss. It's the bit which orchestrates the rest of the processor, tells it what to do and when, and actually tells you the parts of the computer what to do and when. So it's a very important part of it because, like I said, it's the boss of it. Um, right, and you've got registers that you need to know about. So I'm going to just draw, draw these four boxes in for now. And registers either hold one of two things. They either hold data, so that could be like a number or a letter or something like that, or they hold an address. And an address points to data, so it points to a memory location which holds data. So for this example, we're going to need, as well as the CPU, we're going to need to show RAM. And I'll just draw that here. And if you imagine that RAM has got loads of different memory locations called addresses, so I'm going to have zero, memory location 0, 1, uh, 2, and 3. And then that has some data in it. Let's do letters, so A, B, C, D. Okay. Let's go through the registers, registers then. When you turn the computer on, um, the program counter will have the memory location zero in it. The program counter um, has the address of the next instruction that is going to be processed by the CPU. So like I say, when it's turned on, that is going to be the first instruction, memory location uh, zero. So that gets copied into another register called the MAR and that is the memory address register. That holds the location in memory, so the address where you are going to fetch data from. And what happens is this, the CPU goes to memory location zero there and it gets the data in memory location zero and it stores it in the MDR, so the memory data register. This has data in it now, so the memory data register and finally, the last uh, register that you need to know about is the accumulator. And the accumulator involved any time the computer has to do any sort of math. So let's say I've got a value 7 in the accumulator. Um, that would be, if I've got to add 2 to that, say I've got that instruction that's come in, then that calculation will be done in the ALU. And uh, the result of that calculation will be stored back into the accumulator there. So the accumulator is your last register. And they are together the four registers that you need to know about. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.